Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.12 from Sadikubo. So I have made these videos long ago, but I want to update it to get a better quality. So using nodal analysis, determine V0. V0 is this voltage here. Here. And this across 10 ohm resistor. This one and we are asked to use nodal analysis so let's do that so because this is v0 this node here is also v0 maybe let's name this node here as v1 for the sake of consistency so v0 and v1 okay maybe let's do kcl at v0 and then kcl at v1 but first we need to assume the direction of the current Maybe this is going to the right, this is going down, this is going to the right, and this, I just follow the arrow here, so it's going up, and this is going down. Okay, now let's do KCL at V0, and KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. There are two currents here that goes in which is from this current source here and from this resistor here and let's write that for this one that is for ix and then for this one it is v1 minus v0 divided by 10 okay and the other current here is going out so I will have to put equal sign and this current here is V0 minus 0. So that will be V0 divided by 4. But here we have Ix. Okay. But what is Ix? Ix is V1 divided by 20. So now let's substitute that. So I will have 4 Ix. Ix, as I said before, it is V1 divided by 20. So I'll have V1 divided by 20. And then plus V1 minus V0 divided by 10. And for this one, I will have V0 divided by 4. Okay, I want to remove all the denominator here. So multiplying by 20 will work. So I will have this will cancel out and I will get 4 V1 plus I will get 2v1 minus 2v0 and this one I will have 5v0 okay and I think that's all let's do some simplification I will have 6v1 minus 7v0 that will be 0 okay maybe let's save this as equation number 1 and now let's move on to uh, KCL at V1. So let's do exactly that. So let's do KCL at V1. Okay. The currents that goes in will equal to the currents that goes out. Here the only currents that goes in is this current here. And the value will be 40 minus V1 divided by 20. 40 minus V1 divided by 20. That is all the currents that goes in. And this current here is going out. So I will have V1 divided by 20. And I will have V1 minus V0 divided by 10. So I'll have plus V1 minus V0 divided by 10. Okay. Now let's multiply both sides by 20 to get rid of the denominator. And I will have this will cancel out. So I'll have 40 minus V1. Yeah, 40 minus V1. And this one will be V1. And this one will be 2V1 minus 2V0. Okay. And V1 plus 2V1 will be 3V1, but we have minus V1 here, so I will have 4V1. Okay, so I'll have 4V1. 
and this only minus 2 v0 here and all of that will equal to 40 but i want to write the 40 on the right hand side so i'll have this one t and we can divide both sides by 2 so i will have 2 v1 minus v0 is equal to 20. okay let's challenge ourselves not to use calculator here so we are we need to find v0 right so i want to eliminate v1 so i have 2 v1 here let's multiply equation number 2 by 3 so that will be 6 v1 here but we just let equation 1 as is okay now let's rewrite equation 1 6 v1 minus 7 v0 that will equal to 0 and this one i will have 6 v1 and then minus 3 v0 okay and on the right hand side i will have 60 here just 20 multiplied by 3 is 60 now to eliminate this v1 i will have this one and this one minus 7 plus 3 i will have minus 4 v0 and i will have minus 60. okay the minus sign will cancel out so we'll have positive v0 so we can divide both sides by 4 so we'll have v0 is 60 divided by 4 which is 15 volt wow I can do this without any help of calculator. That's quite a good problem here. So this is the value of V0. Yeah, hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and this will clear things up in the old videos. I don't know, but let me know in the comments if I did make any mistakes okay that's all for now see you in the next video bye bye